Industry, the next stage is farming without farmers, digital agriculture, drones in the sky, spyware in the tractors, driverless tractors. Vivendo in una regione ad alto uso dei pesticidi, i rischi sono inimmaginabili. Siamo visti come padroni di una conoscenza che ci permetteva di sfruttare la natura in tutti i modi in cui noi volevamo. C'è stato un vero e proprio processo di espropriazione delle conoscenze e dei materiali genetici. Monsanto e i governi che sono con Monsanto stanno parlando di farming senza farmers. Ma sono anche i monopoli di retail distribution, i più grandi sono Walmart e ora Amazon ha portato in casa. kitchen. Walmart pays 1% of the cost of the consumer euro to the producer. Beh, se voi comprate della, della polpa di pomodoro che costa 39 centesimi, eh, quando 39 centesimi non sono sufficienti nemmeno a comprare il contenitore, e poi protestate contro il caporalato, beh, voi siete lavorati. We, we need to stop saying why is organic more costly. We need to start saying why is the fake food with high cost so cheap. If I'm an organic farmer bringing my food to a local organic market, that's the true price. resources to produce 30% of the food. 70% is still coming from small farms. You can be a farmer, you can be a young child, all of us are eaters, all of us. All of us must reclaim our right. The right to grow healthy food and the right to eat healthy food. All that organic farmers need is someone to connect to who wants to eat what they grow. All that people who care about their health need is a good organic farmer whom they know. All we need is building food communities and that can only happen at the local level. Let's have seed festivals and food festivals and bread festivals and in this we reclaim our creativity and also say the no to poisons in us. A no said while building the creative option is a very powerful no.